it's time to talk about some general principles of critical cultural discourse analysis and to see how it is focus is different from other forms of discourse analysis or critical discourse analysis CCDA essentially focuses on uh, the cultural elements of a discourse. This may involve both verbal and non-verbal elements. Uh, it, this may involve text of a story uh, or of a fiction or uh, as well as its enactment in, in some kind of uh, media production. Uh, and CCDA overall works on uh, works based on certain principles. I, I'll just enumerate them and try to explain them one by one. The first and the most important one is that no text is independent of its uh, cultural context. Uh, a text as it is a kind of common belief in general critical discourse analysis also is a production of its context or the society it is uh, it is produced in. Therefore and even in context, we need to focus more on the cultural element of, of a certain text when we are working within the domain of uh, uh, cultural discourse analysis. Uh, and uh, therefore, uh, any analyst in cultural discourse analysis would focus less on the linguistic elements or uh, linguistic structures. Rather, it would, would focus on and the production of social structures or cultural structures as they would help them uh, deconstruct or uncover the hidden ideologies or cultural elements in a language. Uh, CCDA employs methodologies and approaches which come from various uh, fields of social sciences, especially uh, sociology, anthropology and cultural studies. So it is not res restricted to discourse analysis only. It also uh, may be seen as cross-cultural or mul a multicultural study because uh, reliance on more than one culture or comparing uh, the elements of one culture with the elements of another culture in the same domain uh, may help uh, a researcher to interpret the culture codes in a better way. Similarly, we can see that uh, decoding cultural uh, codes demands not only uh, intimate familiarity with, with a certain culture and its values and norms, rather uh, it also leads us to, uh, to think deep about its uh, history. So uh, CCDA relies or demands, or demands from a researcher to have a deep view of, of the history and culture of, of the society of whose discourse he intends to investigate. So uh, a, a cursory view of, of a culture or some bookish knowledge about a culture may not be enough to conduct a, a cultural discourse analysis. Uh, in this regard, uh, we always see that social construction and historical construction, they go side by side they cannot be isolated. So therefore we need to view them and we need to interpret them together. Uh, CCDA also uh, works on the rhetoric of power as it is produced, uh, fueled and uh, ab abetted by certain cultural norms in various societies and it help, help us understand uh, cultural discourse analysis in a better way. Then uh, it, it also seeks to uncover the global dictionary of power and manipulation uh, by focusing on various specific metaphors of power, ideology, identity in various societies. Uh, the societies in which uh, a kind of race is a distinguishing factor, uh, it would focus on uh, seeing what kind of races are preferred and what kind of metaphors are used to uh, highlight them or show their superiority in, in the discourse. And similarly, uh, there would be certain races which would be marginalized and it would focus on uh, knowing how those uh, races are being marginalized. Therefore, uh, there are certain metaphors, social metaphors, in which uh, this critical culture discourse analysis is interested in knowing in order to uh, show the discrimination in the society. 
if we look globally there they have been recently certain metaphors like axis of evil or preemptive strike which has been used very uh, frank, uh, frequently in the recent global politics and they uh, both of them come from the powerful nations since they believe they have a right to conduct a preemptive strike or uh, declare other countries like a kind of axis of evil assume for a moment that similar discourse comes from a developing or less developed nation what kind of meanings would that have and how the world would take it so uh, critical discourse analysis uh, from this cultural turn looks into such a kind of uh, you, you may call it exploitations which are being conducted through text and this is conducted uh, by uh, through using certain cultural items uh, the axis of evil evil uh, is, is a very hateable thing in, in all cultures so how different people are put together in this axis uh, this has a strong case for investigation and then ccda as i said uh, earlier employs both verbal and non-verbal uh, text to be investigated and looks into the practices it, it doesn't rely only on linguistic structures and it, its main focus is not to study linguistic structures rather it would look into uh, verbal and non-verbal practices and cultural practices and li uh, linguistic structures would only be be a kind of aid to understand them ccda also analyzes factual and fictional discourses alike and this is based on the belief that friction is not divorced from reality it is as potent and powerful in producing a certain uh, identity or certain ideology uh, as a, a piece of media work is or as a piece of political speeches because through fiction uh, people do develop certain ideologies ideologies are spread through it and cer certain cultural codes are made important or unimportant to the people through the pieces of fiction so uh, this cultural discourse analysis is not reduced to real life uh, discourse or, or a kind of communication action which are performed in real life rather it is it it works on all kinds of discourses which would embed certain kind of cultural codes and therefore the ideologies 